One company based in Northern Ireland is on a mission to apply its world-leading design expertise founded in competitive sailing to the pursuit of decarbonising commercial shipping. They've been trailblazers for years, designers, engineers, craftsmen and sailors who reached the very pinnacle of their sport. Now this team harnesses the design expertise and the skills forged in the crucible of international yacht racing for another purpose, the pursuit of shipping zero carbon future. CEO of Artemis Technologies is double Olympic gold medalist Ian Percy. We're a competitive bunch and we want to cross the finish line first, but it wasn't our motivation. Our motivation was the climate challenge that faces us and the recognition that there was part we could have to play in that. Artemis Technologies was established four years ago. Back then, the IMO had just announced its wide-ranging emission targets, and the team competing in the America's Cup in Bermuda at the time knew they wanted to play a role. The boats that we developed for racing demonstrated staggering efficiency. Using the wind alone, we were able to travel at 50 miles an hour with just a few puny people turning handles. And it really was that realisation that if craft can be made that efficient, why? Why are we burning so many fossil fuels in the maritime industry? Now headquartered in Northern Ireland on the outskirts of Belfast and boasting the world's most advanced full motion maritime simulator, Artemis Technologies design, test and create the cutting edge, emissions free ships of the future. Last year, the Belfast Maritime Consortium of which Artemis Technologies is the lead, was awarded a £33 million innovation grant from the UK government. The funds will enable Artemis to expand its 40-strong workforce, strengthen R&D and build its product range, the world's most advanced high-speed fully electric passenger ferry. Artemis's technical director, who designed some of the racing team's most suspicious yachts, says the firm's simulator is at the heart of everything they do. What the simulator offers us as an opportunity is to, before we launch any physical prototype or physical vessel, we are able to anticipate and predict the behavior of the foiling vessel. And as you can imagine, that is a very powerful mean because it means we can evaluate hundreds of different designs before we even spend any money on actually making a prototype. The Artemis simulator has a 210 degree screen which conveys images from three laser phosphor projectors and its realism is essential for crew training which consists of familiarization with a boat's latest systems and rehearsing responses to emergency and failure modes. Further along the production process is the Artemis e-foiler based on unifying an electric drivetrain into an independently controlled carbon fibre hydrofoil, the team says it's the first viable solution for the early adoption of high-speed zero emissions maritime transport. What we're attempting here is a world first, and that's, that's a huge challenge, but it's also a huge motivation to myself and, and to the rest of the team. We're almost reinventing the wheel, both pulling the, the vessels out of the water on the foiling system and combining that with a submerged propulsion system. In Belfast, the Maritime Consortium, consisting of universities, aerospace industries and local councils, aims to create for the city an urban maritime transport system of the future. The Artemis e-foiler ferry is central to the city's plans. Belfast is, of course, no stranger to maritime innovation. The city was, for decades, a pioneer of the shipbuilding industry, and it was from this very spot that the Titanic was launched a hundred years ago. Now a former Tory shipping minister who chairs the Belfast Consortium says she's confident the city will rise to the new challenges of the next century. Maritime is doing a huge amount of work but there's a long way to go. If we look at 200 of the world's largest ships they are giving out as much sulphur as all the cars in the world that are on our roads today. So it's critical that we ensure that maritime for passengers is also dealt with in an appropriate fashion. And what's exciting about the Belfast Consortium and the Artemis Partnership is that we are offering a zero emission passenger ferry which will be on our waters in the next couple of years. 
where once the Artemis team cut a sway through international yachting, winning plaudits and races across the world, now their sights are set on leading the race towards decarbonised shipping, and fueled by their cutting-edge design, teamwork and bold vision of what can be achieved, you wouldn't bet against them.